Hello YouTube, this is uh, Richard, Raising Cane 225, coming back with a short little video, maybe not that short, uh, about my SW Motec uh, Legend Gear saddlebags. Uh, sorry I haven't posted in a while. It's been super, super hot down here in South Florida. Right now it's June 27th. It's a little after 8 o'clock. Sun is going down. I'm in the shade. There's absolutely no wind as you can see by the trees and I'm sweating like a pig. Uh, in the daytime, it feels like a, over, well over 100 degrees, like 105, and you feel like you're just breathing in water. Um, so anyway, on to this you know, little review. Um, I bought these bags because I'm going on a trip fairly soon up to the Smoky Mountains and Tail of the Dragon. And while we're trailering the bikes up, I did want to have some additional storage for when we're away from our main base camp. Um, obviously the bike is not nearly as attractive with the bags on as without, uh, but it's necessity. Uh, I don't plan to leave them on long term when I don't need them. Most of the time I don't have them. And I usually have just sitting right here on the back, uh, a small tail bag that I, that I mentioned in one of my previous reviews. Uh, these things are expensive as hell. Well, before I get onto the review, let me mention something. You may think I'm paranoid because I'm covering my tag and no, I'm not paranoid. My boat's parked back there. Some years ago, there was a rash of boat thefts here in South Florida, and they still happen all the time. But a thief with a stolen boat in tow was caught, um, and inside his truck, which was also stro stolen, he had a list of boats with their registration numbers and the address of where those uh, boats were registered to, and mine was one of them. So I was definitely on a target list to have my boat stolen. Detectives came and told me about it, and I had already put a lot of uh, security measures in place, and still do. Um, but ever since then, I've been uh, maybe a little paranoid or concerned about uh, having uh, traceability to my to my stuff. Also, there may be some videos down the road where there might be a slight, a very slight uh, exceeding of the posted speed limit, and I want it to be a little harder for me to perhaps be uh, tracked down for that. So, uh, on to the review. These bags, uh, again, the brand is called SW Motec. It's from Germany. In the description, I will put the exact part numbers. They're not huge. They're not tiny. Uh, and between the bags and my additional storage that I normally have here, it should be plenty because we're staying in, in, a, uh, in, a, in an Airbnb. We're not camping on this trip. Uh, the bags are interesting. They, they're not waterproof, but there is a waterproof bag inside that I'll show you in a minute. That you can that you can store your stuff inside and and that's fairly close to waterproof you'd have to submerge it for them to get wet in there uh, what i like about them is they're very very quick detach and even the brackets that you can see there uh, also are only held in place with two bolts each so i can remove the brackets in a matter of a couple minutes uh, maybe not even two minutes flat um, so let me show you how these close there's three closure sides See that little loop there? It fits into a loop that's on, on the bag. There's a, a second one here. And I apologize, I'm doing this one-handed. I'm not a, a YouTuber. I don't have editing skills at all and probably never will. So um, the bag rolls closed. And I think these are about 10 liters. I'm gonna move over to the other side because this is closed with sort of a Velcro and it's a pain in the ass for me to try to open one-handed. I've already done that on this side so you can see inside the bags and how they work. Again, it's a little tough to do one-handed. With two, it's super simple. So the, the total cost of this, they were expensive as hell, but I couldn't find any other option that was reasonable, that worked and didn't look horrific. So they were about 678 bucks total, which is ridiculous, but that's what it is. And the quality is very good, but again, it's very pricey. So the bag uh, basically rolls shut and there's this Velcro enclosure. I would have loved it if the interior was white, so it'd be easier to find stuff in there, but it's not. Uh, each bag comes with these sort of inner bag and this is waterproof material. So you could put stuff in there and then put that in the bag and then close it. Uh, I don't typically uh, by choice ride where it's rainy or wet, but sometimes you don't have a choice. So uh, let me show you quick on how these come off. And again, I apologize. This is one hand that it's kind of a pain in the ass. You can probably see this little lever right down there. And I'll zoom in on it once I get the bag off. Um, basically, to, to remove or install the bag, you just push down on that lever. 
and hang on lift up and the bag comes off you can see that there's on the bracket three bobbins okay one of them silver the one that's silver is the part that will engage where this little latching mechanism is and you can see the the three mating points there uh, the, the back of the bag is rigid so it kind of holds its form pretty well pretty well and to put it on it's super fast and easy you basically just slide it align the the, the top two push down and it locks in place and it's not going anywhere this thing is really really firm so um it's functional i did have to change my brogue uh, um, tail tidy and replace the original factory uh, turn signals because they jutted out too far and interfered with the bag um i got these from brogue i can't forget i can't remember the name of the leds but uh, it, it came with this kit uh, so I have the the original Brogue tail tidy for sale. If somebody wants it, just message me in the uh, in the comments. So it, they're functional. It's going to do the job for what I need it for and when I need it. Um, and most of the time, I'll have the bags off, and uh, I may or may not take the brackets off because they don't. It doesn't look too bad with the brackets off. Uh, actually, let me show that again with the with the bracket with the bag off, so you can get an, a better idea. And again, sorry, this is tough to do with one hand. So there it is with just the bracket by itself. So yeah, obviously it doesn't look nearly as attractive with the bracket, but it doesn't look terrible. So if anybody's thinking of getting these, again, I'll put the description, the detailed description of the parts in the link. Uh, if somebody, well, I've already bought these, so I'm not returning them, but uh, really nobody that I've been able to find has come up with a reasonable storage solution for these bikes. Um, uh, 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 that doesn't look you know, horrific than these. So uh, this is what I've got. All right, any comments or questions, I'll be happy to try to answer them. Um, see you guys soon. Oh, uh, by the way, my stock exhaust is going to be gone tomorrow. Uh, I'm receiving uh, um, a Leo Vinci or Leo Vinci. I guess that's how it's pronounced. Uh, LV1 race exhaust. So I'll be doing a little video of the removal of the, the stock exhaust and the installation of the Leo Vinci along with some sound clips, both at idle and moving uh, you know, in the next few weeks. Okay, guys, uh, hope this was helpful to somebody and we'll talk soon or see you soon.